Hi, Pastor Sheila Zellers, and I'm here just for a motivational moment. I want to encourage you today, as the Holy Spirit has been revealing to me, many of us are facing different circumstances in our life that maybe you felt like uh, you didn't measure up, maybe you've been disappointed, maybe maybe you overachieved and didn't, didn't go as high as you thought you could. Um, but you know what? There's times it comes in our life that sometimes we did nothing wrong and things go wrong. But today, I want to tell you, as I was praying, the Holy Spirit gave me a word for myself and for others. And he asked me, he asked me, I heard an audible voice of the Lord today as I was praying and telling him about some situations in my life. He asked me the question, are you going to sulk? Are you going to soar? And all of a sudden, it was like I had to stop, ponder, do a sila, means to stop, ponder, to think, to meditate upon. And I had to make a choice. I had to say, it is Friday morning, and I am going to soar. I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to. I was on my way to exercise, and I really didn't want to go exercise. I'd just rather stay in the bed, cover up my head, and, you know, wish for another day. And the Lord said, sulk or soar. And so maybe things haven't rounded up at the end of this week like you planned. But I want to tell you this, and I want to read exactly what the Holy Spirit said, because as fast as I could write it, I was hearing it from God, I wanted to get it down on paper, because I knew if I didn't write it down, I would forget it. And so many times God has spoken a word to you, and you didn't write it down, and you can't remember it. Please, Take that time, write it down, so you can go back and look at it and see what he said. And this is what the Lord said to me. He said, sulk or soar. You have a choice today. No, things did not go your way. Life has not always treated you fair. But as a Christian, I did not pay for you to sulk. I paid for you to soar. And maybe, yes, as a Christian, you have felt this defeated. And the Lord said, maybe you feel defeated today, Sheila, as a Christian. Maybe you feel as though everything that you thought you did right went wrong. But nothing is ever completely wrong because everything is an opportunity to learn from what you've experienced. So maybe today you're, you're feeling and you're asking God, uh, what should I do? Well, first of all, he's going to tell you, don't sulk. Don't wallow in your sorrows. Look at the situation and say, God, I know that I have put my trust in you. And I will follow you. And the scripture that the Lord gave me is such a familiar scripture. Because Isaiah 40 says, Isaiah 40, 31, it says, it says, But those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they will walk and not faint. We serve a faithful God. And we serve a God that says, if you will put your trust in me and be faithful to me, you will not faint. God did not call us to sulk and stay in our wallowing of sorrow. He called us to arise and shine and give him the glory and soar in whatever we are doing today for his glory. Life is not always fair. But one thing I can assure you, that we serve a God that is faithful. And he will be faithful to the end to see the victory. And we know we've read the end of the book, the Bible, and we know by faith that we win. We are victorious. We are people of God. Now, I'm not talking to just women today. I'm talking to men and women. You know, I found out that there's times when my husband's going through things and he's not a reactor like me. He's, he's more of a responder, and he, and he methodically thinks things out. And he's slow to speak most of the time. But when he does speak, he's a lot like E.F. Hutton, the old commercials from E.F. Hutton. When E.F. Hutton speaks, people listen. And that's what I've learned to do. And when God speaks, I have learned to listen and then not only listen, but to do what he told me to do. And that's the scripture came to me. Wait up on me. Trust me. Wait upon me, and you will soar as the eagle. And so here's what the Lord spoke to me personally. He said, in spite of the difficulties, 
in spite of your setbacks, are you willing to choose to soar with me? Are you choosing to soar with me and walk away from the sulking? God did not pay. He said, I did not pay for you to fail. He said, I paid for you to soar, to move upward. But you have to get up. You have to choose to move forward and upward. Move in his will. Move in his word. And move in his way. And I have to do it today. I can't wait for another moment. I have to do it now. So I just want to tell you that Jesus Christ paid the price for you to be successful, not to be a failure. And he wants you to soar with him as the eagles soar high above everything. He wants you to be a winner. He wants you to be a success today. So this is Pastor Sheila saying, visit me at my motivatedbylove.org. You can find there and sign up for a Sheila from Sheila. This whole message will be going out next week. It'll be coming out in a, in a Sheila in an in a email, and you can receive it by just going to the Facebook, or you can sign up at Facebook, but you can go to motivatedbylove.org, and you can sign up for a Sheila from Sheila. And just remember this. We can sulk, or we can soar. Sulking Satan has an open door just to destroy what God had planned for you to be successful in. But if you choose to go with God and say, I'm going to be a positive person, and I'm going to speak life, and I'm going to I'm going to speak life over whatever anyone else has said. No, you can't. The one thing, P.S., I'll never forget when my daddy was alive. And yesterday when I was praying, I, I remembered something that my daddy had spoken to me on the back porch of my, it's funny, on the back porch of my mama's house. It was at my daddy and mama's house, but it was funny. Are you going over to mama's house? And it was always mama and daddy's house, but we always called it mama's house for some reason. I, I, I was thinking, as I was thinking, I was sitting on the back porch of my mom, at my mama's house. And I never forget, I said something to my dad. I said, I, I wanted to do something. I said, but I just don't think, I, I don't think I'll ever accomplish that. And my daddy said, and he was a recovered alcoholic. And he said, you know, Sheila, he said, my whole life I was told I wasn't this and I wasn't that. I wasn't rich enough, or I didn't have enough money to go there. You'll never get a college education, or you'll never get this. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. I was always told what I wasn't able to do. He said, but you know, when I recovered from alcoholism, and we moved to Naples, he said, I got a heart change. He said, I, I got something inside of me that told me where everybody had said I wasn't, I could be. And he said, that's what changed my life. He said, yes, I went to rehab and yes and he went to rehab before it was popular he said but I went and I went and stayed six months and he said I, I got my mind repaired he said I got my mind fixed and he said I realized that I wasn't was what had always stopped me I was going to do that I was going to there I was going but something stopped me and so I want to encourage you to that you know I wasn't I wasn't good enough. I, I'm, I'm not smart enough. I'm not rich enough. I'm not uh, educated enough. I'm not. I'm, that will make you sulk. But when you look at the Word of God and it says, I can do all things, Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. What is that all thing? I don't know sometimes. Sometimes God asks me to step out before I have enough knowledge on what I'm really doing, but it's called faith. And so when I'm sulking, I'm looking at the past. But when I start to get up, get on, and move out, I have to look at what's up ahead of me. And, and when I step out in faith, then God gives me the stones, the, the stepping stones I need to step on to build my faith to get to where the soaring starts to happen. So I want to encourage you today. I wasn't, it, it, I wasn't enough. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. Though, that's Satan. That's a liar. He's a, he's, a, he's a demonic force that wants to stop your call and stop your productive life. Whether you're in the ministry or you're just at your job and someone's coming at you over and over. And you say, why is this person being so mean to me? Take it as a soaring moment. You can soar through this when you let God lead you through it. So again, this is Pastor Sheila Zeller saying, I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. Sulk or soar. He's made a way where there seems to be no way. I love you. Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you.